Hey guys, this is Jonathan, the PC Smith. Today I'm going to be showing you how to apply thermal paste to your processor. Some of you might be wondering, why do we even need thermal paste between our heat sink and our CPU? Well, the heat transfer doesn't go well from metal to metal. It needs something in between so that it absorbs that heat from the CPU into this heat sink with the fan cooling things off. In my situation today, I'm actually replacing the thermal paste that's on the heat sink here and the CPU because this is obviously the stock cooler and I ran it through the CPU through a bunch of tests and it was running really hot. So I just used the pre-installed thermal paste that came with this fan, but obviously that's not doing the trick. So I'm going to show you how to remove the thermal paste here on the heat sink and the CPU. So you're going to need to use alcohol pads like this. You can also use cotton swabs, um, Q-tips, and stick them in alcohol, but you just want to make sure that you don't get them too wet because you don't want anything dripping down into the fan or especially into any of the circuitry by the processor. So take your alcohol pad and then you're just going to, with since this is just the fan, you can put a little bit more pressure on it and you just kind of want to wipe off that thermal paste. See how it's coming off? See how it's coming off there? See if I can turn it in the light so you can see it. You just want to make sure that you can completely see that metal and get rid of that thermal paste. And Some of you might be asking, well why don't we just put thermal paste over this? Well the reason why is because this thermal paste has little air bubbles in it and it's spaced out and it's not very well applied so if we do that it's still not going to transfer that heat right and apply that thermal paste correctly and evenly. Once you clean all the thermal paste off of the heat sink here it should look something like this. It should look just like metal. You shouldn't really see any more thermal paste on there. And then if there's any alcohol residue at all just take a little piece of paper towel and then just kind of dab it and dry it off. When drying off the heat sink or the CPU, you want to be sure to just use a paper towel. You don't want to use Kleenex or toilet paper because you don't want any of the little flakes falling off into here or into the motherboard or any areas like that. There's two ways that you can clean off the thermal paste on the CPU. One, you can remove the CPU out and clean it or you can leave the CPU in its socket. The only problem with doing that is while you're cleaning it, you just have to be very, very careful not to get any of that alcohol liquid onto any of the silicone here or down into the CPU socket. So I recommend taking it out. So you're just gonna wanna take this little handle and move it to the up position. So that way it unlocks the CPU. Then go ahead and grab the CPU by the sides here and just pull it out gently. Also when you're handling the CPU, just be sure that you touch it here on the sides and not these pins. You want to make sure not to bend any of the pins or get any oil from your fingers onto those pins. So just be careful while you're handling that. Then take your alcohol swab and just begin cleaning it just like you did the heatsink fan. So it should look something like this. Notice how pretty much all the thermal paste is all cleaned off and you should be able to see the original lettering and labels that were on the CPU. Now there's three different ways to apply the thermal paste. We can apply it right here onto the CPU, we can apply it onto the heatsink fan, or we can take the CPU, put it back into the socket on the motherboard and then put the thermal paste on there. I prefer not to do any of those except for just putting it on right here on the CPU because I don't want to get any thermal paste again on the motherboard or any of the silicone there or in the socket and I don't want to put it on here because sometimes it'll smear it wrong when you're trying to set it down and so I just like putting it directly onto the CPU. So take your thermal paste and you're going to squeeze out a small amount A 
about that much ought to do. So this is my pinky finger. You can see how big that is compared. So you don't need to put on a ton, just about that size. Then to spread the thermal paste, you can take, I like using a cheap Ziploc sandwich plastic bag. You can also use like a Walmart sack or something like that. And then you're just gonna take it, put it over your hand, over one finger, and then just start spreading this. You wanna make sure you spread it evenly all over the CPU. You wanna completely cover it. And you wanna watch out and make sure you don't get any air bubbles or that one spot is kind of missing any thermal paste. You wanna make sure it's spread evenly all over. So you're just going to start spreading it like that. Now that you've got it completely covered, I'll try and show you different angles in the light so that you can see some of these lighter or darker spots. Looks like it's kind of missing some, but it's not. It's just the way the lighting is. But you just want to make sure, like I said, to cover the areas. Make sure you don't miss. Sometimes you'll see, you can't see it here, but there'll be, uh, try and get that there'll be small little holes or pockets and you just want to make sure to smooth that over so that the thermal paste is completely completely spread evenly all over the CPU. Then you're going to place your CPU back into the socket on the motherboard and you'll notice that right here it has a little gold arrow and just notice down here on one of these corners it's going to have also an arrow so the arrow is down here on this corner and so you just match these two arrows up to be sure to put it back in correctly. And then it should just drop down. You don't have to apply any force or anything. It'll just sit down right in there. And go ahead and put the latch down. A little handle into its position under that little clip there. Normally with most Intel processors, they're going to have little holes actually right here where you can just set the heatsink on and you'd screw the heatsink down. But with a lot of AMD processors, since this is an AMD processor, have heatsinks there like this that have these little clamps that you're going to put down here. And you're going to set it on that and clamp it together. Once you have the clamps under the little mounting things right over here, take this black handle and turn it the other way to completely tighten the heat sink down. And now you're done. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you guys later.